Hey what's going on guys I'm Ryan welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if you guys are doing absolutely fantastic in this video let's have a look at this Blitzwolf V2 portable 1080p projector with Android built in this one has 200 NC lumens 5G Wi-Fi is supported and has automatic horizontal keystone adjustment so you don't need to worry about that very portable unit as you guys can see here quite cool i like the shape of this project it does look good to be honest in terms of speakers s2 5 watt subwoofer speakers they call it okay so this is basically everything you get in the box remote control you need to supply your own AAA batteries very basic power lead you got your user manual there a handy tripod so you can mount your projector there with some rubber feet and of course our star of the show pretty pretty tiny unit guys you got this strap here at the top let's have a quick look at the projector so at the front you got the logo there with the infrared receiver you got your lens here full hd lcd projector and you have this fabric finish at the front top focus dial got your strap there it's like a rubber material at the bottom tripod mount the specs of the projector 1080p there and on the back here power button headphone jack usb port another infrared receiver and your hdmi port there so this is for the power ventilation and speakers i know that's one there and one there at the front as well so very portable unit guys quite cool now let's put it to the test let's see what this projector is all about and guys if you're not subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing thank you very much for your support okay guys so here we are in the living room projector is there we're going to project on that wall as we normally do as you can see guys as mentioned before very portable unit and for our tests we're just going to use the projector itself as android built-in as i mentioned so we're not going to plug any extra tv box so we're going to do our normal tests and we have here a decibel meter and the lux meter i'm going to put it over there so the screen will be big let's now just turn it on here okay so the projector is now on let me just show you this feature of the automatic keystone adjustment yeah it tries to adjust on its own now with the lights off but nevertheless you can go here to settings where you are able to manually adjust the trapezoid so you got four points like so same with this one so as you can see even if the automatic doesn't work you can always use this one okay so as i mentioned before android built in so you don't need to bring your tv box and this is the landing screen from factory got your settings here mirror cast so you can mirror your iphone or android you have your zoom as well on the sound settings you have two options standard or vivid you got your normal system settings and you have your fan settings so leave it to auto and I don't know if you guys notice you can barely hear the fan pretty cool stuff got the language wallpaper so i got set of wallpaper that you can choose from so on the main screen you got miracast airplay here app store youtube netflix the google play store it's a bit limited so it's using android tv version so you won't get everything like in a normal Google Play Store but nevertheless there is plenty of stuff that you can download in terms of the image of course we're going to make it bigger at the moment the screen is quite small because the projector it's right there as you guys can see for Netflix it plays all right but you need to be aware that the maximum resolution is 854 by 480 so it's not even HD Now 
Systems of the Fan guys, pretty pretty quiet fan. Yeah guys, this is the quietest projector we ever tested on the channel, that is for sure. Okay, so now we have a massive screen projection. I'm gonna put the screen size so you guys can see. And yeah, it's pretty big. Of course, you're gonna lose a bit of contrast and a bit of color further away you have the projector from your screen. Nevertheless, as you guys can tell, this one looks pretty sharp. So let's put it to the test. And as we normally do, we start with this TV card. Let's go closer to the screen, guys. In here, we're gonna see it in detail. So over here, you should be able to read subscribe and over there on the red one like normally these cheap projectors they get a bit blurry on the corners and a bit more sharp in the middle which in this one i believe it's not too bad as you can see there subscribe pretty clear and on the green circle there share so it's it's clear enough guys on all four corners let's now check the middle bit here so you got thicker lines there thicker vertical lines in here thinner lines and yeah okay okay scale of grays there so pure black to pure white there's no color settings for this projector so this is out of the box so yeah guys, let me know down below what you think about this. And this is my hand for size comparison, like we normally do. So let's now have a look at some basic colors here on the parrot. It's not oversaturated. In terms of brightness, it's not um, very bright, guys, I must tell you that. But in terms of sharpness, it's pretty good. Here the colors, you can tell the details of the water drop. Let's now have a look at some basic colors. Careful, the screen will flash. Pure black, pure white. Let's pause, for example, here on the blue one. Normally, the corners will get a bit darker and it's the case with this projector, so you can see it gets a bit darker there on the edges of the screen and now a motion test it's a good opportunity to hear the sound the bass is there guys i must tell you that not too bad right yeah these scenes the darker scenes are a bit dark in my honest opinion next test let's turn the lights on and see how much quality we're gonna lose we're gonna lose it for sure yeah guys let me step back a little bit yeah we lost a lot of contrast we got those lights on these ones on as well so yeah uh, well this happens not with just these budget units but with more expensive units as well so this is how you should do it pitch black room to get the full potential of the projector not just this one but any projector next test let's have a look at this lux meter that we have here what we do is just compare it with other models we tested here on the channel let's go there to the white bit like we normally do and see the value we get 22 yeah again guys not the highest that's what we're doing here we're testing it let's now try a 4k video from youtube please note this is a youtube app pre-installed from factory i haven't installed this Another cool feature of this projector is the mirroring of the, uh, your mobile phone, both Android or iOS. In this case, for the Android, 
just log into the Miracast already pre-installed on the projector in here and as you guys can tell you can see Blitzwolf V2 click there and you'll be able to mirror your Android phone straight away let's have a look at the lag yeah guys not too bad let's play a video here so on the iOS just go to airplay app over there and it's pretty quick guys pretty cool right be aware that you won't be able to mirror your iPhone Netflix to the uh, projector itself so it won't work you'll be able to see your photos apps like this but not Netflix and before we move to the next test let me just show you here the definition of the test if you intend to use this for example in the classroom let's get closer here guys I think it's usable in terms of quality of course the smaller text it's a bit tricky but for bigger text it should be fine let's now check the sound quality from the projector speakers okay so for our last test let's play a little bit yeah seems pretty responsive I must say this Android built-in version 9, although it's not the latest, is pretty snappy. We have no problems with it. And back to the studio. All right, guys, let's wrap the video. I'm going to leave a link down below so you guys can check it out the current price. At the moment, the coupon, the discount coupon is quite good. Hopefully, it will stay for a little while, but I can promise anything. Yeah, guys, overall, nice portable projector, 1080p native with some nice features, especially having Android built in, so you don't need to carry another TV box with it. So, got everything there in the portable format. The brightness could be ever so slightly better but guys it's a portable unit on a budget price it is what it is everything else was really good the colors the sound quality mirroring of the phone and especially guys the fan noise pretty quiet fan in my honest opinion probably the best one we ever tried here on the channel yeah guys if you enjoyed the video click the like button and please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much for your support like always Thank you very much for watching and hope I can see you all in the next one.